Hello. New location. Well, actually, it's just four feet away from the other location. Mental health status, minus three. Quite disappointed that no one's called me. I had the smoke alarm check done this morning and they've ordered some more parts for me. Basically my valve, which is new, is still leaking, so he's gonna have that replaced along with the cylinder, I think. The small tank. I can't remember whether they changed that or not. I think they pressurized it. I don't think they replaced it. But they're gonna replace it again anyway. Um it's been quite a tiring well quite not tiring physically, tiring mentally day. I have felt shattered all day, probably because I've not been sleeping well for the last two or three nights. Um, I've lost track of what day of the week it is. I think it's Wednesday now. Although for most of the day I thought it was Tuesday. The boys have been behaving themselves, my cats. They've been very good. Merlin's even been playing with the other two today. So that's good to see. It's good to see Merlin playing anyway. It looks so weird when you see a 13 year old big black cat playing like a kitten and rolling around on his back. Really odd. Um, I've been having a look into the YouTube stats for this site. They are improving, but 15 hours of viewing in the last 28 days although it is good it's not good enough so i'm gonna have a think about my channel i might need to separate this out into a couple of channels i've already got an anxiety and autism channel that i haven't done any videos for um so i might separate it out and just create a diary on this channel and the few how-to videos go into another channel and link back to this one and, and to Autism and Anxiety, I'll do another channel there. Basically for information about Autism and Anxiety because I don't think people know about it. Not clearly enough. Hello Caspi. I know a lot of people think they know about Autism and Anxiety but it's the sort of Chinese whisper style of knowledge where they think they know because someone has said something about someone they knew. So I'm going to start on that one. I might start on that channel tomorrow. I've started translating this channel into multiple languages on the actual YouTube site as well. I didn't realise there was multiple languages on that. And I've got Caspi purring in the you're right, Caspi. So that'll be one of my things for tomorrow. I need to go through the, this channel and try and get the diaries up to speed. I'm keeping them short, which does seem to be improving numbers, but I'm not getting enough people subscribing and I'm not getting enough people watching more than about 30 seconds. I need people to stay on and watch to the end of the video. Some of the best bits of my videos are right near the end when I'm running out of time and I'm summing it all up. Hold on, sorry, Caspi's. Hello, baby. Um, hopefully, I have a better day tomorrow, Thursday tomorrow. I'll have to remember that. Um, I'll do another broadcast tomorrow from my normal corner so the timestamps in the video. I think it's too hard to light in this corner. Bear with me corner. I've got the desk light on and the living room light and a phone mounted light on. And I think there's too many shadows still. So 
I think it was easier during the day rather than at night because it's 9.20 at night now. So I think I'm better off during the middle part of the day with the light from the window, the light in the living room and the camera light. And it creates a nice even illumination. Although it doesn't seem to matter. Anyway, I'm studying up on that. I've been reading up on um, YouTube and social something or other that analyzes YouTube and Facebook and all that. And I shall see. Um, I'm gonna try and get in touch with my MP again tomorrow and the Labour Party. No one's returning my calls. I'm blocked by Waltham Forest Council. I have no rights whatsoever to scrutinise anything they're doing. They are ignoring me. It's basically use the single point of contact, which they haven't justified. I've got autism. I don't know if I've told you this, but until they justify the use of a single point of contact and its restrictions and my right to appeal, I'm not going to use a single point of contact because they're basically taking my rights away without any justification for it. All I've done is ask questions. And yes, I've asked multiple people the same questions. I sent emails to several people at a time because I'm autistic and I see sending individual emails as time wasting. At least if you email everyone that you think is concerned with it, the way I see it is if you email several people at the same time, you save time because then you get one person taking charge and copying everyone else in or replying back to everyone saying I am more responsible than X, Y and Z. I'll take charge of this. I will act on behalf of everyone. That's what I expected. Not to be put on a single point of contact because I emailed an awful lot of people. Doesn't say on the website you can't email a lot of people at the same time. It doesn't give you any warning about a single point of contact on their website. I mean, if you are going to restrict the number of people you can email, at least be fair and tell people you're going to put a limit on the numbers. Anyway, I'm going to keep it short because I'm tired, as I've said, and Caspi's playing up, and there's now an awful lot of editing to do with this video now, rather than doing it in one take. Thanks, Caspi. Um, thank you for watching, please comment, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and don't forget YouTube and Twitter, I'm available on both, there's a YouTube page that you, which I put on the titles and the credits and I shall speak to you again tomorrow.